Right now, lawmakers are inching closer to the end of the year without a budget deal. There are only five days left where the House and Senate will both be in session. Fox News correspondent Michelle Macaluso tells us about the plans to hammer out a deal happening right now. Nothing focuses the mind around here like a looming vacation, and Congress would like to wrap up some very complicated budget issues by the end of the week. The messy winter weather around the nation's capital is just another reminder that Christmas is almost here, and so are a number of pressing deadlines. Behind closed doors, two lawmakers in particular, Wisconsin Republican Congressman Paul Ryan and Washington Democratic Senator Patty Murray, are trying to avert what could be a year-end budget crisis. The, the key is that we not have another government shutdown, that we do keep the spending caps in place, that we don't raise taxes at a time when the economy is still weak, and I think we can accomplish that over the next couple of days. The sticking points are clear. Among them, whether to continue those automatic spending cuts called the sequester that are concentrated on the Pentagon, and whether to extend temporary long-term unemployment benefits, especially after last week's drop in the unemployment rate. It's the smart thing to do for our economy. President Obama made the argument over the weekend that unemployment benefits are an economic stimulus. But will that be a deal breaker? No, I don't think we've reached that point where we've said this is it, take it or leave it. And if that's the case, despite the weather outside, it could represent a real thaw here in Washington. In the meantime, there is a big scheduling challenge this week. President Obama and many members of Congress are flying to South Africa for Nelson Mandela's funeral. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News. That wintry weather.